All right, welcome back to this build. All right, the seat pan is finally finished. I put a lot of time into uh, making it as perfect as possible. I did a lot of uh, contouring and shaping and then did some final bondo fill for some of the slightly lower lying areas. Although it's all gonna be covered with foam, so it doesn't matter how perfect it looks. Uh, aesthetically, just the shape is what's important. And then let me show you how it is, hooks onto the bike. So I have uh, one post here and two posts back here uh, for the hole in the front and the two holes in the back. I also have some additional cross bracing. I've been trying to figure out placement of all the different parts. I was thinking about putting the rectifier uh, back here, uh, but now that I'm building the battery box somewhere else, I'm gonna use a bigger battery than I expected. I think I'll have enough space to probably put it back here or somewhere. I was thinking about using that uh, four cell anti-gravity battery, which this is the profile it has. Uh, so there's a couple of different places that I could potentially put it. And then this is the size of the um, Moto Gadget M unit blue. So trying to figure out spacing for all the parts. I also have the CDIs that can fit here. Um, and then there's gonna be a lot of wiring and cabling that gets laid into the space. But I think actually the battery is going to be uh, where the dual stand hooks up. Um, so I think I won't be needing this and I'll have a lot more space than I thought I would. Uh, but now that the seat pan is finished, I'm going to, I have one inch foam that I'm going to glue over the top of it, do a little bit of shaping, and then I'm going to see if I can vinyl wrap it, uh, how good that looks. I am considering taking it to professional to make it perfect, but uh, figured I'd give it a shot myself since I'm trying to do as much of this project uh, in my garage as I can. I got the engine out of the bike. I had my buddy Manny over here helping me and I should have recorded it because it was funny as we tried to figure out how we were going to get the engine out of the bike with the oil pan and the oil filter sticking out. It seemed impossible yet we were still trying uh, fruitlessly and as it turns out there's a bar on the frame that pulls out and we could have actually just slid the engine out uh, had we wanted to. We had actually had the bike on its side and then for other weird angle uh, then Manny pointed out that the frame was coming apart and we removed it and that turned out to be easier than I thought Which is great because after I get the frame coated and the engine uh, cleaned up I want to make sure that I'm not scratching things and it looks like it'll actually be pretty easy to put back together And I also tore apart both the uh, rear and the front wheel I'm gonna have both of them rebuilt but while I was at the powder coater I had them do it in this textured black color which I think looks really nice all right, so I've got the frame back from the powder coater and it looks really good. I did it in the semi-gloss black that I've done uh, some of the other stuff in and uh, I really like also how it cleans up my uh, ugly welds. All right, so I don't have a helper today and I'm going to try to get the frame back onto the motor. I've done all that I can to clean up the motor. Again, I decided not to paint it, at least at this point. There are parts like these caps that I'm going to pull off. Um, this one's actually powder coated. I may end up getting a different one just because this may be too hard to get down back to metal before I polish it. But the tappet covers, for instance, I'm going to pull off and polish um, as well as the uh, gear cover here. But for now, I want to get it back on the frame so that it's starting to look like a bike again. I've tried though just to put it on its side. I have a piece of wood to make it nice and flat. And I'm going to see if I can't just lay the uh, frame on top of it and then ride it uh, you know, by myself. So we'll see how well that works. I've taken off that piece of the frame uh, that goes on the side that I realized last time comes off. So I'm assuming it'll just be a matter of setting this on top. So 
maybe almost that easy. I need to get the washer that goes through here and the bolt that goes through there. And I think I can start bolting up things on this side and that should give me enough structural rigidity to bring it back upright and then get everything else in. Alright, so that seems to be balancing for the moment. I can now bring the arm on this side, get a couple of those bolted up, and then I'm going to find a way to support it so that it's not resting on the motor itself. I apologize for the fan noise. It's uh, super hot here today, and I was going to close the garage and let the AC in, but I've got the car in here, and I was just at a car show, so the engine's hot, so that's a heater in itself. Anyway, I'll just deal with the uh, heat as long as you guys can deal with the fan noise. So I now have the bike on a couple of pieces of 2x4 on the front and slightly resting on the oil pan in the back. One of the good things about living in a housing community where they're still building, there's an endless supply of 2x4s that's uh, just a quick jot away. So uh, I have the bolts resting on the left side here and then I've got the breakaway piece that I was just going to slip on this side. Before I had the swing arm powder coated, I put a bolt in the hole that the grease fitting goes just to make sure that I didn't get any of the powder coating material in there. So I'm going to back this bolt out, put the grease fitting back in. I'm going to start by packing with grease and then get the uh, end caps on and the swing arm back onto the bike. And then I also have new shocks that I'm going to put on at the same time. Alright, it's really hot in the garage right now, but I got done the things that I aimed to do. So I've got the motor back onto the frame, there's still a couple of brackets that I need to assemble, but uh, for the most part, that's back together. I've got the swing arm reattached, I've got the grease fitting on, and put grease into uh, the main bushing area here. And I've got the new suspension on. So this isn't particularly fancy suspension, but uh, two things. One is it's the right length, uh, because the suspension that previously was on the bike was uh, very much the wrong length, much too long. Also, it's the correct style, because this bike requires a clevis on the bottom end, and this had an eye bolt on each end. So when I got the bike, this was actually offset and a pretty bad setup. So uh, I like the all black look and they're, they are adjustable. We'll figure all that out once we start riding the bike. But for now, I've got some of the main components done. So the next things to do, I should have the seat back early next week. It was actually supposed to be done already, uh, but it's at the upholster and hopefully the next video that'll be finished. And then to start rebuilding the front end. I decided to actually use the stock fork legs. I polished those fork tubes up nicely and then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do about the rest of the triple tree. Uh, but that should be coming soon and then once I have the wheels back uh, from the builder this should start looking like a bike and we can focus on the fuel system and the electrical system and probably not too far away from being done. So excited about how this build is going. Appreciate everybody sticking around. If you have any questions or suggestions please throw them in the comments below. Uh, subscribe, like, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks a lot.